Hello and welcome to Sports Corner Neil and today it's the Euro 2012 final. Spain versus Italy. I have everything you need to know before the big game right now. The last two World Cup champions clash in Euro 2012. We saw what they could do in a group game, but can we move forward from that draw? We'll have to see who wins in the battle of forwards and midfielders. Two opposing styles of football, one champion. We're going to see who wins right now on Sports According to Neil. Hello and welcome again to Sports According to Neil. I'm Neil Roseanne and it's Euro 2012 final time. And this is a really exciting occasion because it is the final. And two great teams got through. I didn't expect Italy to play as great as they did against Germany, but hey, this is still a great final. There's a lot of star power on each side with Mario Balotelli on one. Um, pretty much all of Barcelona and Real Madrid on the Spanish side. And it's going to be a great final. But the thing that a lot of people are talking about is how different these two styles of play are. Um, the Italians like to use a lot of their forward play, get like one or two goals, and then protect it. Spain, they'll also grind out, but it's in a different way. They'll attack with their midfielders, which also opens up their forwards, but the midfield is a key part with a lot of passing. So, who wins? Well, first, we're going to have to take a look here at some of the keys. In this match, of course, like any match, the keepers are key, but this one is even more important. With both teams being such prolific scorers, well, not so much on the Italian side, but more in Spain. Um, Buffon and Casillas are going to have to be great. Um, they're both world-class goalies. Both of them have won a World Cup. And whoever falters first is probably going to be on the losing end, which kind of seems like a pretty easy fact. But it really is a fact in a final of this manner, given that both sides drew 1-1 in the first one. Uh Keys for Spain, they have to have great mid midfield play like they've had before. they got to be able to just keep um, feeding that midfield, keep getting the goals coming, and that's really going to have to be it. Also, they're going to have to work out their defensive situation. Um, the, they have run with uh, three defenders in the back. Are they going to go with four and still have more of a t uh, less attacking midfield, or are they going to attack more of the midfield? They're going to have to figure that out. For the keys for Italy is feeding the forwards like always. Mario Balotelli is one of those players that thrives off of success, and with his recent success, they just got to keep getting him the ball and hoping that he can do some great stuff. But um, they, uh, for defense, they have to bend but not break. Uh, the Spanish are going to break you down, and they're going to get in there, but they're going to have to pull a Chelsea almost, if <laughs> given you know this past year, where you just bend and not break. You keep taking shots as long as they don't go in. And really, that's all Spain, I mean, Italy can do on the defensive side. Uh, key players for Spain, it's going to be Fabregas. He's um, Fabregas, a lot, uh, Xavi Alonso, and Silva. They're some of the top scoring midfielders. They're really going to need to get into the 18-yard uh, box and create some havoc, get a couple passes around. Um, on the defense, though, they're really going to have to, PK and Ramos and Alba, they're really going to have to play well because this Italian squad with Baratelli, he can really uh, attack and um, really cause you some problems on that back line. you got to be able to hold it. And for Italy, of course, Balotelli, who has three goals so far, um, two in the last match, which really put it away for Germany, shocked them. Uh, but they really, they really need Cassano and Di Natale, who also have one goal apiece. Uh, they really need to get back into the scoring. They can't be a one-man show. Those two are going to have to get some shots on goal. And then... Also, they need to get the midfield play in because Spain, uh, with all their midfielders, the midfielders are going to have to get back. So Manchiso and Pirlio, they're going to have to really get back, and they're just going to have to, you know, I know I just bit butchered those names. I'm going to try and get over that, but they're really going to have to get back and defend as well as feed the guys up front. They're really going to be key, but what do I see happening? What's the final score for the Euro 2012 final? Your champion in extra time on two goals to one the uh, goal coming from Iniesta that's it the Spanish they win their third straight um, major title in a row and it's just gonna be party 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 for Spain but this trust me this is probably gonna be the last one we're seeing maybe not an ending of an era but just kind of a changing of the guard Spain will always probably be there but I think this will be their last major silverware for about the next 10 to 12 years. So, I have Spain winning. Who do you have? You could definitely give me some feedback, give me whatever. But 
Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you get to watch the final. It's on Monday, and it's going to be a great final. Hopefully you get to watch. Hopefully there will be a lot more goals than I predicted, but that's all I see with such a low uh, scoring tournament. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. I have a lot of more, more stuff. Uh, I'm making a trip to Wrigley soon and to a Chicago Fire game. I'm going to be writing about those. I'm going to be talking about the U.S. men's national team, maybe some baseball in there, whatever. It's just going to be whatever until the Olympics, which is going to be huge. You could do some stuff on that. But until next time, this has been Sports Corner Neil, and I'm Neil Roseanne. Go to sportsacorninil.blogspot.com for all your Sports Corner Neil needs. Or follow me on Twitter at Neil and Sports. Be sure to use the hashtag NeilNoSports. Thanks for watching.